remove. That's right now. Um, that was removed. Okay, my bad. Oh, sorry. And game capture, game capture, walk ahead. Thank you. Boom. Okay. Edit scene. Nope, my bad. Just don't worry about me. I fucked it up. Don't worry about it. Uh, Just need order change, eh? Oh, move to bottom. We didn't do it. Okay. Uh, order. Move up. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. So one, two, three. Okay. Um, it feels like it's been a year. Does it? Yeah. I, I thought you were making a joke because was that last week you made the joke about? It felt like it'd be a year. Because did was, I make that same joke? Because it was in 2015 and then 2016. Did I make a joke about that? I feel like you might have. I don't God, know. God, I'm getting so old. I'm making the same jokes all over. Well, you've been doing that for years. Did I ever tell you how mean your mama met? Yep. Shit, shit. It was at a brothel. <laughs> wasn't. It was. <laughs> that didn't make you like want to spit your drink at all? No. That didn't. You tired, dude? That's dude, tired. well, let's don't record if you're so no, tired. No, 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 we're good. We're good. I need to move my seat up too. Nah, fuck you, dude. If you're closer to the patrons, I get to be closer. To the <coughs> no, I will get as close as I want. I'm getting closer to them. No, you can't. I'm closest. No, I'm getting close. No, I'm feeling. All right, fucking weirdo. What are you doing, you fucking creep? I'm looking at my hands. Uh, what? All right, so. What about you? I'm now for. Okay, so episode two. Right? Dude, I don't know. We already know how it ends. So it really don't matter. I've got nothing to drink. How did this even happen? I'm calling my union rep. I think this is the... Yeah, because we're just going to do continue on this one. That doesn't intimidate you? What? No, that I'm calling my union rep? Nah, dude. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I'm... I, I am mean, your union rep. So I know. I don't... I'm calling you my call agent. You call me all the time. I'm calling oh. my agent. What are you doing? Stop. What are you... I don't know. I'm getting you? your stuff out of my way. It's nothing's look in at, your way. Look at me. Look at the world I have to live in here. Well, it's because you bought that thing. Yeah, well. It didn't work. Well. It's your problem. You can unhook it all. Nah, it's fine. I'll unhook it right no, now. No, it's all good. Our, if it's bugging no, you so bad, it's I'll fine. unhook it. No, it's, it's, I'll it's unhook good. It. I've got bigger problems. What? Well, Scott brought up that, um, you know, etiquette. My uh, elbows are The right elbows? There. I know. What a jerk <laughs> here, right? Who, me? Yeah, you. I know. I know I'm a jerk. Yeah. But it gives me something to lean on. Your elbow? Can I lean on you instead? No. See? Well, there you go. Well, okay. Whatever. All right. I'm going to uh, just lean on you. Don't, don't lean on me. So I got to. No. I'm leaning on no, you, Paul. No, Here, I got Paul. No, I'm coming no, for you. No, no, I'm coming for you, no, Paul. No. no. <laughs> I was uh, hoping your headphones was going to pop out. I was, I was trying so hard. Your earbuds. Dude, <coughs> I bought new earbuds. Yeah. Yeah, is it like flat cable? Mm, no. Is it not? It's like... It is flat cable. It is flat, but it's flat. It's not the right kind of flat. I mean, it's not flat like your charger cable flat. Yeah. It's flat like... Let's like a twist the tie. Least, exactly. It yeah. is exactly like a stinking twist tie. And um, and, and the little mic, mm -hmm. I learned something about packaging. Not only do you need to read the package to make sure it has a mic, but you need to read whether or not it has a volume control. I never think about that. Because just because it has a big square like that, yeah, doesn't mean it's going to have volume control. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Because I'm totally used to, oh, I need to turn that up. And no, out was like, I don't even know where I laid my phone down now. It should be in your pocket or in front of you. Well, it'd be on the end just of this. Just follow, follow the... <laughs> Where's that thing fall? Oh, God. Where's it at? It is a pretty long cord, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, and now it's all wrapped up in all of this cable business. Well, dude, fucking what if there was the a fire? I'd never be able to get out of here. Okay, now I'm good. Unhook from your ears. Nah, it, it happened quick. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just take them out of my ears. Yeah. But I don't want to lose the cable. I just bought it. You know how much this cable was? Do you know how much these cable were? You know how much this cable was? It was $30. $72.95. Bullshit it was. It was. There's no way that was $72. That's what you get for the flat. Seventy-two. Bullshit. $72. Was you would never spend that much money on that. <laughs> on hearing, you'd never spend that much money on hearing nothing. Yeah, hearing's my least favorite sense. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's because you're shit at it. But I'm getting better at it. Yeah, you went to the doctor. I did. 
Yeah. And he gave me, you know what he gave me? To make me not deaf in my ear? Cold medicine? Nasonex. Really? Yep. He said I was right. Yep. And because this canal mm-hmm. through here is apparently inflamed and he's surmising that it's, uh, or supposing that it's inflamed because of allergies. Mm-hmm. And so he's thinking if we open this up, then air can get in behind the eardrum. Yeah. He says it's possible for there to be <coughs> such a vacuum mm-hmm. behind that eardrum that it inverts the eardrum because it not to work. And I said, you're saying there's a vacuum in my head? You say I'm inverted? You saying I'm perverted? Okay. He said I got perverted eardrums. Perverted eardrums. Yep. Yeah. They got an alternative I think Chris position. I hear him. I just heard something really loud. Yeah, I heard. I heard. Yeah. He's now accustomed to not having neighbors. And so he told me that he's like became the loudest. He's way loud. Like you started off loud and he was like all nervous. Yeah. And then he got over it. And now he's just like nuts. Yeah, I I had to call him this morning because he was just moving shit. And I'm like, hey man, you alright? Because I thought he like fell down and was like... What was he moving that he could make that kind of noise <laughs> I have no and idea. not be broken? I think that little white table. I think he was moving that. But you just popped again. Did it? That's not good. All it's right. going in and out. Well, I, you, your eardrum shouldn't flutter. It's perverted. Gotcha. It's, right. you know what? Wait. My eardrum mm-hmm. is a superposition eardrum. Shut up. Didn't we talk about superposition in the I last think we, video? Either we did that or we just talked about it. Ah, I'm about to get into quantum mechanics. I thought you said that like last year. That I was going to get into quantum yeah. mechanics? Why did I say that? What was that about? I don't know. You're just like, I'm, I need to study up on blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that may have been me of the other universe. Mm, okay. Alternate universe. Mm, mm. Since then. Hurt. What? I wrist hurt from the straps. Tell them why. No, How it's much? not a. It's not a big enough weight. It's not a big enough weight to, to brag about it yet. Yeah. Okay. I won't tell. Them. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell them. Don't. I'm gonna tell them in tomorrow's vlog. Don't tell them in tomorrow's vlog. You won't never know because you don't even watch my vlogs. Guess what? I do watch the vlogs every day. Yeah. And you still say you Paul? Lie. Well, not every day because you don't post every day. I do post. I've posted every day this year. No, you haven't. I have. You haven't. Yeah. No. No, not no, that. Not the very beginning of the year. Oh. Why you gotta make me lie? <laughs> you just lie. I Paul just, makes me lie. I don't make you lie. I you just made me trump say it. correct. All right. So, I mean, are we gonna play this game? I no. don't know. Are we playing this game? Or it's, it's, I think we should. I think we should at least try. We should at least start. Okay. I'm so I'll, glad I that the that mic's barn. doing better. You gotta get. Well, what? don't say that it might be better now. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what it's doing right now? Ah, we gotta redo this scene. No, because you got killed. No, no, no. Didn't you stop Wait, when you got killed? What's wrong? Oh, turn the volume now. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Sorry, man. Uh, that was actually loud for me, too. Some people it's started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between... <laughs> Is it going to be too pits? loud for them? Holy shit! I can turn it down in post. Are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving Science. me the all clear. Man, what? I am real sorry. You can turn it down in post. Oh, my lord! Think. What happened to you, sweetheart? Was those well, I got shot with an shot. arrow, you stupid. <laughs> I'd be all right. It hurts. Just take it out. Yeah, just hey, rip it out. Rip it out of my body. Mark, oh my Good thing God. he didn't get hit by a car. That had been harder to take out. Why is it? So he gets yeah. shot in the shoulder, but apparently that like gave him scoliosis. Oh, no. Well, come on, he's trying. Instinctively, on his body's trying to still get away from the arrow. <laughs> he's still trying <laughs> to pull away. Yeah. If he was a dog, he'd be chasing yeah, his tail. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, no. I think it was them that attacked us. But you they do just the opposite, like if you smush your hand or something. You don't like it. Oh, get, get away! No, I'm like, ah, shit! Oh, no! Take it off! Oh, oh no! Hold this for me! This is yours. Take it for a minute. Yeah. Just, <laughs> can't deal with it right now. <laughs> can't deal. But instead, you're all like, <laughs> I just hold. Oh, shit. Uh, it was a fluke. It was whatever. We're sorry. We. We never had them screw with us like this <coughs> since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but as we ugly as he is, his, his no brother were gonna let makes him look like his brother's a troll. This. You know where these and assholes are? So and I guess drunk. Look at his nose. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. Oh, oh okay, here we go. Yeah, let's find give us. you a gun. Pandits? Are you serious? 
This place is serious. Safe. Look, are you serious? Look, we got bang This place is a hell of a lot safer. Are you safer serious, than Paul? You, you calm down. I think are all you of serious? Us can calm down. A couple of punks Am I embarrassing you? Yeah. Are you serious? What we need to do is yeah. find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. <laughs> I've been embarrassed in 20 years. <laughs> oh, cool your jet sail, Are you serious? Paul, oh, why don't you come back home? Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I don't know. I'm going to head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda. You know how you deal with bandits? Well, Shouldn't that's say. easy. Band-aids. charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's <laughs> real charming, Dad. <laughs> that's bad when you throw Where's your phone at me. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get you back. You know what? If you convert the bandits to friends, hey, you uh, can make a band. I remember seeing kids in your group, so and all I went you ahead left and fixed that it. swing while you were You can do out. with it whatever you kids want. Kids like swings. Oh. Sweet. Boom. Park swings. Just like at my tree house. Turn the bandit into a band the swing, huh? and then do yeah. with it whatever you want. Anytime. I think they wiped the blood off that you. board. <laughs> Paul. Yeah. You can take the bandits and make them into a band. And then you can do with the it. If I stand close enough, you, no. It, well, I mean, it stand close enough you. for him to kick me. Dude. Hey, Cliff, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Sure What's the dad's name? You, Kenny? Okay? Kenny? I will. Yeah. Will Did you, you see how hard Kenny it? was pushing Bag of Hammers? He's hoping Bag of Hammers loses sure. his grip. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Screw her! Whoa. Okay, you ninja. Wow. How about you calm down? After this, he's going to flop to the top of a tree. <laughs> what? How's this weird? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little well, worried about Well, I'm a little thrown off by the fact that you can okay. hold your balance without yeah, staying on there. It'd have been a lot worse. for a second her hands are with the ropes. Uh, you're, 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 freaking you're freaking out by that? I'm freaking out that he can just push the rope. Be careful. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> well, you kind of could. I've had good luck. So uh, I roped that hard. Okay. With angular momentum. What do you think of the dairy? It, it's pretty. No, there's it it still struts through it. Look how they just there's no slack at all. Yeah, Even at the top, they don't Can bend. They're um <coughs> they're enforced with rebar? Yeah, they're rebar ropes. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I don't think so. I hope so. I hope so too. So far you've done good. Don't worry. We're safe here now. Arrow right through the head. Shit. Ah, no. Oh, master. All right, that's enough. All right, Igor. Igor. Thanks for pushing me. Yeah, shot in the yeah. Back with an it's arrow. like he ain't humpback. He's got an arrow on his back. Okay, duck. Don't pop. But if you pull it out, he'll be your friend forever. Right. Yep. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to Kenny. I'm, I'm done with Kenny. Yeah, Kenny's a loser. I guess I should go talk to them. I the think story. we still got to figure out what's in the barn. They won't let us go to the barn. I need to progress the story. Oh my gosh, fellas, how you feel? Well, that was weird. <laughs> I thought for a minute I was like, I know, I was like, that's the next step. Hey, told you how dangerous dude, it was. no shit. You customer service is so important. Nobody's yeah. safe here. When we get to we a place to pause, back. remind me. I'll tell you what's the next door. The two of us should go out and do some recon, then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Whoa. Yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? Only that swing know. on the Think tree goes both ways. Big box up the way. Save lots. Calm yeah. yourself. Anyway, they're nutty as all Calm. hell and get mad. When uh oh, so are you it's ready gone. To head out there it's okay. And find I just touched camp? it with my feet. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity yeah, what? to my find feet. out a bit more Don't. about what we're up you against. Let's do it. <laughs> my I'll sock here feet. and hold down the fort. Okay. Remember, at this point, me having on my boots doesn't that sound like a more winning scenario? What? If you had on your boots? Yeah, then I'd be touching your phone with the rubber sole of my Are boot. You going now? Right yeah, now, yeah. I'm touching I'll it with my sock soon, feet. Clementine. Okay, Jack Boot. Just, here it goes. It's coming to you. No, you're What's moving him? the mic. It was dang cords, but I did push the phone in your direction. Did you? Yeah, it's up under you. You can get it with your sock feet. I feel like I missed something in the story. Yeah, you've been talking See the whole time. <laughs> yeah. You're like, Paul, let's not talk during the cutscenes. <laughs> it's gotta be close. <laughs> I just spit all over you. I apologize. You didn't feel it? You just wiped it on me. Well, then I just wiped spit on you. Because I spit on my hand. I'm just not even gonna get my phone right now. 
<laughs> Your phone's gone. Yeah, it's, it's out. It's lost. Oh, pew, shoot the leaf. Oh, There's shit. The you found it? You found it? Shh, stop talking. Less talking, more shooting. Oh my god, I just had a great idea. If you take the bandits and you turn them into a band. I'm gonna kill myself. Then you could do with it whatever you wanted. All right, tell me about your customer service. Oh, really? You're that bored with the game? No, you said when we get so, a place to pause. Oh, okay. So here's what happened. So I go to Walgreens. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm sorry to call out Walgreens. Normally, you're awesome. Um, Nasonex oh, was giving was to me so bad. a sample of. <laughs> no, don't unplug me. I had it. A sample of Nasonex was given to me by my lovely ear doctor. Yep. He was awesome. Mm -hmm. But it was like only 20 squirts. 28 to be exact. Is that not? And that's two okay in each enough. nostril a day. Oh, shit. Okay. So that wasn't going to last a month to start with. Give you a running But he wanted me to try it for a month. Mm -hmm. By the way, if... All right, so here's the here's the, the uh, dispenser yep. for the Nasonex. Mm -hmm. Your natural inclination is to just do it like you're trying to pick a booger. Yeah. All right. You do that, it just hits right up in here. Yeah, you gotta tip you it gotta, pretty much you in. You gotta go right into like the that. yeah. Yeah, you do that, and you can see it. Yeah, you know how I know that? How do you know? Because that guy Grace and Quincy, they didn't have a nose. When he would take his bandage off, you could just see into it, and it was like, oh god! So now I know what the inside of a nose looks like when you don't have any of the nose part. Mm. God, I forgot about that. Yeah, you're welcome. And so, and two so you squirts. Just stick it straight into your. You're just nose. gone for like, you know, it, it didn't last very long. It was a little sample. So I go to Walgreens. Make your eyes water? It makes my eyes worth thinking about it. Makes my But it too. feels good. Does it? Yeah, and you know it's working when it drips down the back of your throat. Yeah. Because <coughs> that means all that's open. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but it's anyway. All medicine. So I, medicine drips me in the throat. So I go last night. Yeah. To get more mm -hmm. because I'm out. Yeah. And I'm looking everywhere, and I don't see it on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So I go up to the pharmacist's assistant, wait in line, and I've already looked for forever. And I say, Nasonex, does it take a prescription? Because mm -hmm. I'm not seeing it on the shelf. She's like, oh, no, no, it should be, oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, that's where I've been for the last week. Actually, if you come look, I put up a cot. I've got a little Coleman <laughs> stove. I've been here long enough that you'll see a, a whole line of holes where I've, you know, buried my waste. Mm -hmm. I've camped here. I've been here for forever looking for this. But it's on that house. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get it. She's too busy to come out. I look and look and look. It's not there. Mm -hmm. Finally, I give up. I get on my phone. Get on the internet. Boom. It's not over the counter. It's got a steroid in it. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. And so, yeah. oh, no, no, no. It's on that all. You can find it. No, internet says otherwise. Yeah. The internet is the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. The internet is the ultimate customer service. Mm -hmm. The only problem is, it's like the new gas pumps. It's self-serve. Yeah. yeah. That's it, it. That's the good part. You don't have that's to mess anyone. You don't have to mess. Yeah, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for Gomer to get out from under a car yep. in the garage and come over and come pump the gas and tell you some stupid story about mm -hmm. what his uncle did. Didn't we have to do that? Like wait for somebody to pump our gas when we were up north somewhere yeah there was a state we went to where um <coughs> y'all like tell thing. us y'all tell us what which state yeah. it is i don't remember but yeah was it like around new jersey or somewhere yeah, i don't know and you had yeah they you know, had to come all of it guess. was self-serve it was against the law for it to not be no but, not self-serve i mean yeah all of it was uh whatever serve. full service yeah yeah and so but remember they let us pump it yeah yeah they let us pump it but they kind of stood there and talked to us for a second yeah and, yeah made sure we weren't I guess. Going to light it on fire? Yeah. I watched a video of this chick. So I guess it was cold or whatever, and I don't know. Maybe it was the first time she's ever put gas in a car. I don't know. So she's putting the gas in the car. She's like, I can't see if the tank's full. So she gets her lighter out so she can open it and see, and just <laughs> sets the whole hose and everything on fire. And just has a flamethrower. <laughs> just has a flamethrower for What did kid. she choose to do with it? Did she leave it in the car? No, she's like holding it because this, you know, the hand yeah. part isn't on fire. Right. So, well, I mean, in the car, in the gas tank's already on fire because uh, it's just shooting fire out of the gas tank. And then also now she has, like, this waving thing. She finally unclicks it, and so it seals back and 
it's done, but her car's on fire. So the guy behind her that had the video is just like slowly drive away. <laughs> <laughs> See, that I would I would die because my nature is I'd have to run over there and try to save her. No, no, no. It's like <laughs> no, it's like no. You save her? Your gas tank's on fire. Deuces. <laughs> Peace out. I'm like, nope, this is survival of the fittest. <laughs> like, you wouldn't just... try to save her? This person. <laughs> it could be the one mistake. She might. Lit <laughs> her gas tank hey, on fire. She may not be a chemist. But she may it's be. It's gasoline. She, she may be, uh, you know, she may. I don't know. I can't actually think of anything <laughs> exactly. she'd be good at. But, yeah, that's. that's I got to slit my wrist to see if there's blood in me. Like, well, I don't understand. I'm a little weak. Maybe I'm low on blood. Yeah, let me check. <laughs> well, do you think maybe she saw somebody else do that and they got away with it? You know, like, I don't know, dude. I don't know where. Or maybe, like, on Facebook you had all of the, um, like, the post about the winter and stuff. And, like, put screws in your tires for uh, snow traction and all that mm, stuff. Maybe right. she got it from those. <laughs> right. Maybe those actually tricked her. and uh, <laughs> Killed her. Like, well, so... So she didn't actually touch the stream of gas. It was just the fumes. Yeah. Well, just the fumes is what's going to catch first. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Because you can boil gasoline. Can you? Yeah, you can boil gasoline. What do you do with it when you boil it? Uh, Don't light anything around you because it's going to make it fume everywhere and you're just going to die. Why Why would you ever boil it? <coughs> um, uh, in the Anarchist Cookbook, they have stuff for that. Uh, I don't know why you'd boil gasoline. Interesting. Yeah. You've got a copy of this cookbook? No, it's illegal to have. That's why I asked. Just wanted it on the record. Paul uh, does not have a copy. No, not anymore. Uh, but, uh... I'm suddenly feeling uncomfortable. Dude, the internet, back when I was, like, a shorter kid, uh, was just real nice. Because it, Cause it like, had all that illegal No stuff restrictions. <laughs> I it was so new and no restrictions. I remember those days. It's like yeah. there wasn't a deep or dark internet. It, yeah. was, just it was just the internet. internet. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Then those. big government stepped in and was like, you know what? Probably is not a good thing. Uh, telling kids how to make light bulb bombs. You know what? It is a good idea. Or encouraging people to boil gasoline. Yeah, or encouraging kids to boil gasoline. Hmm. Yeah. Or how to make a, a flamethrower. Or thermite. Are, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, napalm. Napalm's really easy to make. Wow. Yeah. Because of the soap. Oh no, you're not even the soap. Uh, you just use a uh, something you have in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're looking for like those foam noodles. You just do that in gasoline. Oh, okay. And it just sticks to anything. That's exciting. Yeah, you just put enough of it to where it's like a like a almost a gel. And it just sticks to anything. I wonder how many patrons by now have clicked off because they don't want to go to jail. No, they they should probably already know this. They should know this. These are the things they should know. Yeah. Who yeah, knows when when the, you're gonna when the Nazis napalm. will come and we'll need to make napalm. And you're gonna need napalm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even think you can use napalm anymore. You know you can't use. So I love that in war, there's things that you can't use anymore. You can't use plastic landmines. You can't use flamethrowers. You can't use like chemical gas or anything. Like you can't even use tear gas. And we use tear gas on like crowds well, we use it of on people. Ourselves. Yeah, but we use in crowds of people. Oh, crowds of people. Yeah, but, but I mean the fact that back. we can, you know, just the fact that like you know, if there's a riot, they use tear gas, but you can't use tear gas on a battlefield. That's crazy. <coughs> yeah. You can't use. Uh, there's certain type of bullets you can't use. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. I mean, I don't know who and, all... And, and so if you're at war with people that begin to use things that they're not supposed to use, how do you punish them? You're already at war with them. Yeah, it's... Well, you have to win and yeah, subdue I mean, their it's country like, yeah, and, then and drag their to, leaders to court. Yeah, for and war then crimes. execute their leaders. Yeah, I mean... So it's, ultimately, if you'd just been better at war and would kill their leaders during the war, yeah. then you wouldn't need to finance the Hague in the first place. Yeah, exactly. So there's your answer to life. Just be better at killing. Just be better at killing than anybody else. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's what this game's teaching us, slowly. Yeah, is yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you can swing a bat, yeah. 
into somebody's I think it's also teaching enough. us don't be stupid and light your gas tank on fire. Don't let your gas tank on fire. Don't. I what I've learned from the game is don't give kids candy bars. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, You'll just end up having to push them in a swing later. That's fair. Hungry still. Still hungry. I don't think he's eating anything. No. Yeah. I, I mean, I having a kid around during the apocalypse is like it's just zombie bait. Yeah. Exactly. It's like well, that's when you have the little chum. you're just the throwing out chum little, out in the uh, ocean. The little test if uh, your village is getting raided and you have the baby. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, a bad one. Do you smother the baby, or do you? And so does the baby die, or does the whole village? I'm die? hoping they understand what you're talking about, and they don't think you've just jumped straight to smothering babies. No, well, uh, well, the the thing is that uh, your village is getting raided, and you have a kid, like a small you're baby, hiding. or whatever. You're, you're hiding, hiding. Yeah. in like the bushes, so they can't find you, and you have like you know the rest of the village is not getting killed over there, uh, and so the baby starts crying. Do you? smother the baby so everyone's safe or do you just let everyone get killed because you can't kill the kid i wonder if there's another option i wonder if you could like you just stick- throw the baby and everybody else book it <laughs> no no hand the baby to somebody else <laughs> no thanks max <laughs> hot potato i wonder i wonder if you could like <coughs> stick your finger just far enough down the baby's throat that it doesn't gag but yet it can't cry can they cry with their nose closed? If you can still make audible sounds with your nose closed? Would it be better to hurt them so bad that they just can't scream for shock? Like twist their ear or something. Would that be better? Would no. that be better you than You would have to them? do real bad harm. You'd have to do such bad harm to them. That the nervous system can't take it, and they would just black out. What about like a thumb? You would, in the eye? you would have to get like a hammer and start wailing on their little baby feet, and <laughs> that's like all you can do. There's no way to get past that. <laughs> like that may be out of everything. How many videos did you say we've done now? Gaming videos. Sixty-seven. That may be the cruelest thing that has been said. You're over so here far. trying to do option three. I'm going to just smother the baby and try to get everybody to live. You're mm-hmm. over here like lose third option, just beat the baby till it can't cry anymore. I didn't say beat it. I meant like pinch it really hard or something. There's no way you have to overload its nervous system for it to stop. I was I was just trying to find the way. There's not. We're dead. The village is dead because we couldn't. We love babies too much. We couldn't smother the baby. This is save the village. Ah, uh, the village must suck anyway because it's having to hide from the raiders. Well, <laughs> it's not the best of killing, so I guess it deserves it. What is that? What you're trying to get at? I'm trying to say. Before you judge a humpback, look for the arrow. <laughs> All right. Well, that's today's video, guys. Uh, it's been a it's been a real journey, been a real journey through uh, through these questions of life. Yep, yeah, I think we fixed yeah, it. Yeah. Forty-two. That's yeah. the answer. Yep. Got to smash at baby's feet with hammers. Something is pinching me under my arm. Woo wee. Mm. Is it your shirt? An ant? Yeah, dude. Should be an ant. There's no loose food in the house. I don't know, man. You gonna be okay? It's like I'm getting a shot. Like I'm getting a shot under my arm. That's not dude, good. Dude, have you ever had a shot in your armpit? No. Have you? Yes. For several. what? It, it's a long story, but there was an issue. And the solution to the issue was involved. I, I'll just say it. I just got a, a bump under my arm. Yeah. Bad bump. And they had to first deaden it. So I got shots in my armpit. Ooh. And then. Lancet? Yeah, kind of lancet. Just yeah, sca- it wasn't open that it? kind of. Yeah. Scalpel it? Mm hmm. Huh. In your armpit. That's kind of just shit I do to my own body anyway. I don't go to the doctor for that stuff. Oh, I thought you was doing it just like for fun or something. I was gonna no, say no, no. our next episode to be at the psychologist. <laughs> no, it's like if like something fucks up, or if I get like a uh, uh, a big uh, uh, splinter, I'm just like I don't give a fuck. I just we'll open it up. I don't care. You're kind of a mountain man. Well, it's, you just got to get it out. Yeah. You don't want to get infected. I saw you posted on Facebook a picture of a cabin in the snow. That was a while back. Uh, I'm slow at my. You know, stalking. You're, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Like a year out, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So you're no, kind totally. of a mountain man. Yeah. I live in, as long as it has internet, I'd live in the cabin. 
What? Uh, it's just, it's, it's I'm just a new funny. age mountain man. Yeah. I'll go chop down trees and sell firewood to survive, uh, but I need internet. I'll buy some firewood. Well, I don't have any property to get mm. trees from. You may have to steal, steal some trees. I'll have to go to Pekin. And, uh, You've got property there? I've got property in Pekin. Yep. Yeah. I don't think the trees are big enough for wood. No. Well, there's a couple that are decent in that acre. Not too okay. bad. I thought we were going to end this video. We were, but then you started talking about worm pit stuff. Yeah, because something was pink to me. Yeah. But it got better. Yeah. All right. Well, y'all have a good one. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're always very interested in your comments, so please do leave them. Thank you very, very much for watching, and a special thank you to our patrons over on Patreon. If you want to know how you can help us continue to make these videos, or you're just interested in seeing more videos, not just gaming videos, but also inspirational videos, then come and join us at patreon.com slash Thanks again for watching.